I am kinda bad at Trackmania. I can get a good result once in a blue moon, but rarely can I reproduce that perfect result. That is, until now. Yeah, this did not go as planned. Before you call this a cheat and click off the video, yeah, it kinda is, but there are some traces of educational content in all this. The way I got to the idea was with the question of how dead screen result and replays work in video games. Specifically, how StarCraft 2 does it, I think. Instead of recording the entire game, which would produce large files that need to be stored and handled, they record player inputs and reconstruct the game input by input. Compared to actual game recordings, files used by this method are way smaller in size. The reason this works is because some games are very deterministic, meaning for same input, you get the same output. So if a player does a set of actions that do not involve some sort of RNG, the result of those actions will always be the same. Actually, I think even RNG could be taken into consideration here, since the game could just record that data and then mock it in the replay. One pretty straightforward example would be chess. By playing the same moves on both sides, you get the same outcome. Because I played some Diablo 4 recently, I remembered still how much I disliked the open world concept of it. So I thought the best use of it would be to make my character run around the map in circles without me doing anything, of course. In order to make this work, I needed two things, a keylogger and something that would play those keys back. You could say, well, why not just download some macro or keylogger program? No, that would make this video half as short and I'm already struggling with making it five minutes long. So part one, keylogger. This is pretty straightforward. You listen to keystrokes, here. You make sure the key is the one you care about. You do some weird thing here to make sure the key you press is the same key you release. I know, crazy. You set a way to close the program, otherwise you're fucked. And there you go. You got a list of keys and their press duration. Now I only need to make this look like an MSI installer and I'm good. Part two, the runner. This is where programmer schizo levels increase because now we have to write a program that will make sure that the thing we did is the thing we did. It's sort of like a unit test. Do you know what a unit test is? It is code you write that runs other code you wrote and make sure that it does the thing it's supposed to do, giving you false sense of security that you did your job correctly. In our case, we're going to take the result of our keylogger, the list of keys, and feed it back to the computer, hoping it will produce the same result. Programmer connoisseurs among you might look at this code and already notice a problem, which I also noticed sometime later when this piece of shit did not do the thing it was supposed to do. You see, with this script, we're processing one key at a time. We press the key, wait some time, release the key, and repeat for all the keys. The problem here is that there are cases where you press multiple keys at the same time, but then you also release them at different times. Luckily, we can just slap some threads on this code, calculate when each key was pressed and released relative to the first keystroke, and then just play it as it was originally done. And it actually worked. Traversing from one city to another was pretty good and consistent. I now had smart auto run in Diablo 4. But there's really no point to it. There's no tangible result here. Plus, I did not want Blizzard to ban me for such a dumb reason. I can think of dumber ones. Then I remembered there's a different game that could serve this experiment way better. Trackmania. In retrospect, this was a terrible idea. Trackmania is stable enough that given the same input would mostly produce the same output. It does not really have too many of those external factors that would produce a flaky run. Maybe if the game lags or the car bounces in some weird way or something. Since I have no idea how to train an AI model to do this, I thought replay system would be good enough or something like this. I mean, what could go wrong? Tracks are pretty straightforward. They have the start line, the finish line. You just need to make a series of inputs in between. It's not like the entire game is physics based, which need to be taken into consideration when making these inputs. Yeah, this did not really go according to plan. There were consistent trends where replays would play perfectly, but there were also times where the car bounced off or slid in a weird way, and that pretty much ruined all the following inputs. So, conclusion, if you have access to all the game parameters to reconstruct the run, it could be used even in highly dynamic and complex games. But if you don't have that data, 